Automatic rigging is a term that covers a range of concepts and techniques. One of the concepts is of reusable rigs. Standard rigs that can have different skins connected to them to make new characters. In this tutorial I'm going to take this rig which has an Android skin connected to it. I'm going to duplicate the rig and I'm going to connect a new skin to the duplicate. The new character created will have all the actions of the old character, all the logic bricks. So using this technique you can create new games that are variants of old games without having to start from scratch. I'm going to duplicate the armature and put a new skin on the duplicate. So I'm going to go into default view, tidy this up a little bit, and put this window back to properties, and zoom in a little bit here. And so I'm going to pan, shift, and use the middle mouse button. Shift, and use the mouse wheel acts as a button. Okay, I want to go into pose mode to um, remove any old pose. Press A to make sure all the bones are selected. Um, I'm going to rewind so I'm in frame one and pose clear transform location pose clear transform rotation okay now I want to duplicate the armature I'm going to go back to object mode for that and uh, shift and D will duplicate when you duplicate you're automatically in grab mode so I'm going to press X to constrain so it only moves in the X direction. Move the armature over to the left. Select the old rig. Uh, G to grab X and move that over to the left. And I'm going to select this armature and go into its properties and put its X value to be zero. It's important to have uh, X at zero for the X mirror. I want to bring in the new skin. To bring uh, a model into a Blender file, we use append. I need to find the model. Okay, now, now I'm actually inside the Blender file. And inside the Blender file are materials, meshes, objects. Object is the one I want. So I go into the object folder and there I see the arms, the body, the head and the legs. In the scene is also a camera object and a lamp object. I don't want to bring those into the scene. So I'm going to press A to select everything. And then I'm going to hold down shift and click on the camera and the lamp to deselect those. Click Link Append, and in comes my model. Uh, this has got UV mapping. Uh, to show that, I put textured, change the display to textured. And there we have our uh, QB model of Spock from uh, Star Trek. Now all the parts are selected at the moment, and I can see the armature because of x-ray is on. I'm going to hold down shift and scale the whole model. Uh, press S and select scale the whole model. Then I'm going to press G to grab followed by Z and move the whole model up. Now I can see that the backbone matches almost exactly uh, the cube that makes up a Spock's body. Um, so that's about right uh, to start matching the bones to the new skin.
Now I'm going to resize uh, and move the bones so that they match the new skin. Uh, with the armature selected, I'm going to go into edit mode and zoom in. Okay, its backbone is quite nearly in the right position, but I'm going to grab the, the whole bone, press Z for Z direction, and I'm looking at the bottom, the base of the bone, and lining it up with the base of the body of Spock. Then I'm, the top of the bone is the, the tail, but I'm pressing G to grab, Z again. Now I'm going to line that up with the top of the cube that forms the body. Right there. I'm holding down Shift, middle mouse button, mouse wheel to pan that down. Uh, if I select the whole bone, while I'm at it, I'll remove any roll. And then I'll select the tail and do the same again. G to grab, Z for Z direction, and move that up so that that lines up with the top of the head. Shift, middle mouse button. Let's have a look at the arm. Select the arm bone. G to grab. And I'm going to move that to the top of the arm there. This mirrors, so you only have to do it on the one side. Uh, I'll remove any roll from that and G to grab um, and I'll line that up then with the bottom of the cube that forms the arm and shift and middle mouse button I'm going to select the leg G to grab and move that so the head of the bone is in line with the top of the leg and G to grab and line that up with the bottom. Okay, let's just zoom out a little bit. Shift middle mouse button. Okay, I think we're ready now to link the skin to the bones. You want to connect the 3D model to the armature that is skinning. In this case we've got cubes that form the model and we want to connect them to the corresponding bones. Uh, to do that I'm going to go into pose mode I notice that the legs are on open stride. We want before you skin, you should always make sure uh, there's no residual pose. So, pressing A twice, I select all the bones. Pose, uh, clear transform location. Pose, clear transform rotation. Okay, we're ready to skin now. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a bit and select the cube that forms the arm. Hold down shift and select the corresponding bone. Control and P to create a parent-child parent relationship and select bone. And I repeat that for the other cubes and the other bones. Hold down shift, control and P. The body cube, hold down shift, backbone, control and P. The head, hold down shift, control and P. I'm panning up, zooming in, select a leg, hold down shift, control and P. Select the other leg, hold down shift, control and P. And that's skinned. Into uh, object mode, I'm zooming out. I'm going to press uh, G to grab Z for Z direction and just move him down a little bit. Then I'm going to go back into the game logic layout, put uh, the display to textured here. Now, normally um, you would uh, 
replace a character in an already made game with a character of your own. Uh, so I would then delete the Android and we'd have Spock now in the new game. But if you leave both in, you do get an interesting effect when you run the game. You get uh, both of them synchronized moving about and if I press W to wave they both wave uh, which is interesting okay that's the end of uh, uh, an introduction to automatic rigging um, all the files support information links and things I will put on my website which is freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there uh, thank you for watching and goodbye